Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Kerry and I love to try new eyeshadow palettes, especially when they're amazing indie brands. And Nomad Cosmetics is one of my favorite indie brands by far and they have released another palette. Nomad Cosmetics base all of their palettes on destinations, which I think is fantastic. And not just countries or places, but specific places in those countries, which I absolutely love. So this one is based in Costa Rica and it is like, I don't know if I'm going to be pronouncing this right, but it's the Cloud Forest in Montverde. I, I, I could be saying that totally wrong. I'm sorry if I am, but look at this gorgeous, gorgeous palette. And every time they do one of these destination palettes, they always give some money to a very good cause to do with the destination. So some of the profits will be going to the Cloud Forest, which I think is absolutely fantastic. And this actually made me aware that there was a Cloud Forest there. Like it's not somewhere I've ever looked at going before, but after seeing the pictures of this Cloud Forest, it looks incredible. And I love the look of this palette. Even the Unicarton, the outer packaging, it's got these little cutouts so you can see the palette through this. I'm definitely keeping this Unicarton. I don't always keep them, but this one I will be keeping. I think the palette looks gorgeous. This is one of their bigger palettes. So it does retail for $44. They do have slightly smaller versions. And look at this color story. If this doesn't scream Kerry, then what does? It's got a lot of greens and it's got neons and I am a bright technical lover, so I am so excited to dive into this palette. I have already swatched it, so I will insert those swatches and close-ups for you now. Yeah. Here's to the good days, here's to the sorrows. If this is a mistake, I know about tomorrow. I don't want to fight no more, because I don't feel the need no more, no. Just wanna make it stop Maybe it's something in the water Or maybe we just hit the end of the road Right now it doesn't even matter It's too late not to let it go And that's why I wish you the best and say goodbye Now this video is also in collaboration with my lovely friend Heather Please do check her out when she gets her palette, she hasn't currently received it at this moment in time, but when she gets it, she's going to be doing a few looks with hers. I'm going to be doing this video, a few looks with mine. And yeah, it's in collaboration and I'm super excited to be doing it again with Heather because I think she's fantastic. She hasn't actually been doing makeup that long, but she's come on in leaps and bounds. So please do check her out. At the end of the video, we are going to guess what our favourite colour and least favourite colour in the palette is. So I'm going to be guessing what I think Heather's favourite colour will be and least favourite colour in the palette. And... I'm excited to dive into this. I'm going to be doing more than one look. I'm not actually sure currently how many looks I'm going to be doing. You will already know, but I'm going to be diving into some of those greens today. I can tell you that. So this palette does have 18 shades and six of those are shimmers. And they do look more on the sort of duochrome side, especially this one that's called Hanging Bridges, which is absolutely stunning. Like you will have seen the swatches already, but it's like a greeny gold with a bit of pink and... <laughs> It looks incredible even the yellow like it's difficult to do a good yellow because they can look a bit powdery a little bit you know but this is insanely good looking from the swatch i'm pleased that we have some deep options so we can go in with this deep brown shade or the deep green we have some nice bright bright vivid colors and a nice selection of shimmers the shimmers are more on the greeny spectrum which i'm not going to complain about because green is my favorite color in eyeshadow and you do get a little postcard with all of these palettes, which I think is just an extra nice little touch. So obviously this one has got some beautiful tropical birds on it and it just has a little message on the back. I won't spoil that for you if you want to buy the palette. I did also use Angelica Nikvist's discount code with Nomad. I am going to be priming with my Natasha Denona eyeshadow base just because it is one that I trust and it's one that I really, really like. So we're going to start out with this. Nomad Cosmetics are based in the US and it's not always the cheapest shipping but I do find it is on the cheaper side compared to a lot of indie brands that I order from and the shipping doesn't take as long as some small indie brands that I order from so I'm always really happy when I get palettes from Nomad 
it is actually a couple that runs this business which that is my absolute dream like if me and my husband could start a makeup business together I would be living the dream. I'm sure it is extremely hard work as well, but I think they do a fantastic job and I've heard the customer service is second to none. Okay, so we are primed and ready and I'm excited for my first look. I'm, I actually need to calm down a little bit. I'm a little bit, I'm getting a bit warm because I'm so excited to dive into this palette. It's not often these days I try so many eyeshadow palettes that I get this excited, but this colour story is absolutely incredible. And also, as I was watching it, I was thinking, oh, that's a nice autumn shade. Oh, that's a nice autumn shade. Considering there's so many neons in here, I still think you could do an amazing autumn look with this. I do think I'm going to be starting out with the deep green. I am going to be playing with some greens today. I just look, I can't help myself. There's green in this palette and they look insane. So we're going to start out with glass wings. And yes, we're probably going to pop it in the outer corner. I love that all of these shades have special little indentations in the pan. And I have totally ruined them because obviously I've swatched them. But it's just a lovely little touch. Like they don't have to do that. It's just... It feels really good quality. The whole packaging, the theming, everything about Noma Cosmetics just makes me smile. And look at that deep green. Mm. Don't want this deep green to take over, she says, plopping more on, but I am just keeping it toward the outer corner just so I get some nice depth out there. And I don't want to take it too high. I've just taken it a little bit higher than my crease just so you'll be able to see it. So far, there are no surprises because I know that Nomad Cosmetics have got extremely pigmented shadows, <laughs> extremely pigmented, which is exactly what I like. I like it to be pigmented the second that I put my brush on my eye and as you can see, beautiful, rich pigment. I'm just going to tickle on the edges of what I've already placed down just so it's easier when I come in to blend with another shade. Like there are quite a few indie brands that I love with a passion and if ever I was to receive PR from them like that it would be my absolute dream. Like it's never going to happen but I'll just tell you my wish list. So my top three would probably be Unearthly Cosmetics, Lethal Cosmetics and Nomad. Um, what would be your wish list of brands you could receive PR from? Like indie brands, like smaller indie brands because I would be really interested to know this. I mean, there's also Odin's Eye. Oh, there's too many good small indie brands that I love. Luckily, I do already receive PR from one of my favourite indie brands in the US, and that is Gourmand Girls Cosmetics, which if you haven't checked them out, please, please do. I do have a discount code with them also. But look at that green. Mm. And I'm going to blend that green out with Green Spiny Lizard. What a name. I love that. Here. Just gonna tap it on the very edges first before I go into blend and I am so excited that this is such a vibrant neon-y palette. I really need to shut up because I'm doing more than one look and I don't want this video to be the longest video in the world but I'm just too excited. Also, I've thought of another one, Cosmic Brushes. Oh, you know with the Serenity palette? That's another dream one. Like, I should start a list of dream indie brands because they are my favourite. I absolutely love like mainstream brands like as well that are in the supermarkets and things like that. But for me, a small indie brand. Mm. Oh, and there's also Titmouse Cosmetics. Look, I may be randomly saying to you throughout this video, <laughs> amazing indie brands that are on the smaller side, but you know, not tiny, tiny, that have incredible quality. Why don't I just do a video on my favourite smaller indie brands? I can't believe I've only just had this brain wave. Look how those greens are blended together. Like, look. Look at it. Then I want to go into the shade Resplendent Quetzal. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but this one here. I'm just going to continue to go toward the inner corner with this gorgeous blue shade and in the pan it's got indentations of flying birds which I imagine is whatever the shade name is that would make sense but yeah green and blues together stunning then I am just going to go in with a little bit of blue morpho I want to say and it's this one here 
all pigmented hello and buildable by the looks of things because i'm just popping it on top of that lighter blue and it is building beautifully and it is going to blend into that blue like a dream look at it go okay for the very inner corner i think i want to go into green vine snake which is an amazingly bright gorgeous green and yes it is going in the inner corner oh i will brighten it up with a shimmer but there is no way that i couldn't dive into that green like that is one of my favorite shades in the palette that's going to be interesting because i need to actually pick a favorite shade so that heather can guess and a least favorite shade which is going to be difficult because this whole palette is beautiful then i'm going to go back into green spiny lizard and just continue this along the lower lash line and meet up with a little bit more of that green vine snake I think I'm going to take a bit of green vine snake and just pop that around the very top edges of this green as well just because that shade is stunning. Okay I'm going to take some of my NYX glitter glue and I'm going to pop a bit of this out onto a little palette and just pop this everywhere I want to put some shimmers so I'm just taking a flat brush and I'm just going to apply this like I say everywhere that the shimmer is going to be going I think I want to go into Hanging Bridges. It's got to be done. And just plop that in the middle of the lid. This is the one that's sort of got a pink shift to it. And it's just so interesting. I absolutely love this. Like I've got a lot of green shimmers in my collection because I am a green eyeshadow lover. But this one is beautiful. Okay, and then I want to go into the deeper green shimmer, which looks gorgeous. It's called Green Mountain. Oh, that looks stunning. And I'm just going to bridge the gap between the matte and the lighter shimmer. That is so sparkly and reflective. That would look gorgeous all over the lid with a smoky eye. And then going back into Green Spiny Lizard just to tap over the edge of that shimmer and make sure it blends into the mattes seamlessly. Okay, and for the inner corner, I've got to go into Wildlife Wonderland because it is an absolutely stunning, real light, shimmery green. I don't know what to say. Oh, this could be a contender for being the best shade in the palette. Okay, let me finish up the rest of my makeup and then I will show you the finished look. Yeah. Here's to the good days, here's to the sorrows. This is a mistake. So guys, this is the finished look number one and I have to say I'm a little bit obsessed. Um, I, Let me just adjust my mirror so I can actually see myself when I'm talking to you. Yeah, I really, really like how it came out. The greens are beautiful, as I thought that they would be. I did go around the cut crease with a liner. This time I used my Super Beauty liner palette. It's the UV Taffies, and it was just the green shade. I don't find these the easiest to use. They're not as good as the Attitude Cosmetic ones by a mile, but this was the specific shade that I wanted to line the cut crease with, and I think it worked really well. The lashes are some half lashes that I made myself from a full set from She Glam. I will link them down below, and the lip is the About Face Lip. What? colour is this in canyon on fire which i will use any opportunity to pair an orange lip with a green eye and i'm not going to apologize for it it is my absolute favorite and in the waterline i went in with my limelight paint from p louise because this is my favorite p louise paint and i would truly like how it came together this might be look a bit too much for some people it might be a bit brightening in your face but we do have a neon palette here so i feel like I'm really happy to wear this for the rest of the day. I'm going to go downstairs. My husband's going to be like, how did I know you was going to do green first with this palette? So there you have it. Look number one. Let's jump into look number two. So guys, I am ready for look number two. I am excited to dive into some more colour from this palette. We're not going to stick to the greens this time like I did in the first look. I want to play with some of the other colours. I'm liking the look of the purple, maybe the pink, orange. I don't know. We'll see what we're going to play with. Maybe the yellow... There's so many beautiful shades in this palette. I've been thinking since yesterday what I want to do for my next look because this palette makes me very happy. I'm just priming again with my Natasha Denona eye base. Everything I'm using will be linked in the description box. And I've just spoken to Heather 
and unfortunately her palette hasn't moved on the tracking for quite a while so I'm not sure when her video is going to be going up. I know there were some Royal Mail strikes um, over the bank holidays and things so I don't know when her video is coming but as soon as it does I will link it in the description box but for the time being I will just pop her details in the description box for now if you want to check out her channel while we're waiting for that one. Um, I'm not sure why I got mine so soon. I think I ordered about an hour before she did so obviously that makes all the difference when there's a new launch I think and then yeah the fact that there's been royal mail strikes hasn't helped. So colourful, vibrant, in your face makeup, here we go. I'm going to start out with the shade Violet Sabrewing. I'm sorry for butchering that name. I'm going to start with this just above my crease in the outer corner and just keep this purple that is sort of the right area to this side. I'm not doing anything exciting today. It is the very last day. I'm filming this on a Sunday. It's the very last day before my daughter finishes her summer holidays and goes back to school. And me and my husband have finished our holidays and we're both going back to work. So it's just those boring jobs, unfortunately, getting all the clothes ready for the next day, sorting out the washing, tidying up, back to reality. That purple is beautiful. I'm going to take it a little bit and wrap it onto the lower lash line. Okay, I have just blended out that shade a little bit just so it's easier when I come to go in with the next one. And I think the next shade I want to go into is Orchid, which is a gorgeous, bright, vibrant pink. And I'm just going to tap that on the edge of the purple lightly to begin with. Oh, I love the shades in this palette. I'm just building that shade up and slowly blending as I go. And I will definitely go back in with the purple to blend them together. I like to go back and forth between the shades. It just makes the blend so much prettier. Okay, and then on the very edges of that, I want to go into the shade Jaguar, which is the gorgeous orange. And just kind of keep that above the pink and then sort of leading into the inner corner area a little more than we have been. But these shades together just make me so happy. Then of course, I've got to go into Toucan, which is the bright yellow. And you guessed it, just connecting that to the orange and we've got a beautiful sunset -y vibe going on here. And I am just going to take the same shades on the lower lash line and continue this kind of sunset-esque moment that we've got going on and I'm excited to pick a shimmer for the lid. And again, I'm just going to go in with my NYX Glitter Glue and then the two shades that I think I want to use are... Ooh, what's this? Ooh, that's pretty. Oh, I was thinking I was going to use Wildlife Wonderland, which was the bright green, but I also like this. I am torn. Okay, I think the shade that I want to go in with is definitely going to be River Trail... Does that say trail? Yes, it does. This one here. So going into River Trail, I'm just going in with my Refer 02 brush and I'm just going to plop that in the centre area of this little cut crease moment. That is so pretty. That is a very reflective, gorgeous sort of bluey shimmer. Oh, that is nice. <sighs> I do also think the light green would have looked amazing, but I'm so happy with this choice. This is insanely reflective and beautiful. Then I'm just going to go into a bit of Orchid, which was the pink, and get the hair out of the way and just tap between the matte and the shimmer just to try and start a little blend to make it look a little bit more believable and seamless than it's looking at the minute. Okay, I'm going to jump off, add the rest of my makeup, and then I'll come back and show you the finished look. Yeah. Here's to the good days. Here's 
to the sorrows. Okay guys, so this is the finished look number two. I am very happy with how it came out. I had to go in with some liners. So I used my favourite liner palette, which was the Split It Painter's Paradise palette from Attitude Cosmetics. I do have a code with them that's not affiliated. If you want to save some money, it'll be in the description box. And I did just use the white from this just to do some little stars. Like, okay, there was star, there was star action happening. And for the lip, I used the TLC lip liner from MUA. And then one of my new favourite purchases from e.l.f. is a lip stain and it is in the shade, what shade is this? Coral Cutie. And I really, really like this just with a little bit of lip liner, just to add a little bit of a subtle, like I blotted this off. It is a lip stain. It does actually go on glossy and shiny, this one, but just to add a little bit of colour. I have the red one as well. I'm super impressed with these. Um, you can have it as subtle or as bright and vibrant as you want, but there's just like a little tint of orange toward the very inner part of my lips and I am absolutely loving that. So this is look number two. Let me know what you think down below. You're gonna have to pick a favorite look at the end. I am planning to do a look number three. I will hopefully film that tomorrow, get this all edited and get this up for you, but I'm not finished playing with this palette. There are still shades that I want to use. So I might as well film it for you. So we've done the greens, we've done purple, pink, orange, yellow. So we haven't used this shade. What else haven't we used? We haven't used this shade. Is that it for the mattes? Oh, we haven't used this shade. So maybe a bluey look tomorrow then. Oh, I don't know. And we haven't used this shade either, which is sort of a murky brown. I really don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have to have a think about that one, but for today, I'm really pleased with this look. So let's hop into look number three. So guys, look number three, and I feel like I just said to you that I didn't use the blues in a look. And I, I did definitely use a blue. I did use this one, didn't I? My first green look. And I can't remember if I used the deep one. But I feel like we don't have a bluey type of look. We've got a green look. We've got like a bright, colourful, sunset type of look. But we don't have one that's leaning more blue. So I feel like that's what we're missing out of the three looks that I've done so far. So I might do the deeper blue, maybe the brown, maybe the lighter blue. Heather has now informed me that her palette has cleared customs, so it won't be too long before she can actually film with hers and get her video up. So I am super excited to see her video. And speaking of Heather, I'm actually wearing the earrings that she very kindly sent me. I love anything to do with moons or anything celestial and she was showing me a few pairs of earrings that she bought and I was like, oh, I absolutely love these. It's got the different phases of the moon and she's like oh, I've got a spare pair would you like them I'm like oh, yes please that would be amazing so I think they are super cute I'm not actually sure where she got them from I can't remember if she told me but if she did I've forgotten so maybe you could hop over to Heather's channel on her video and ask her in the comments okay so I think I'm going to start out with blue morpho which is the deeper blue here and I'm going to pop this on the inner and outer corners I may Look, this could be a halo eye. It might not end up looking like a halo eye. It's not my favourite thing to do just because I don't feel like I'm as practised at it as other types of looks. But that blue. Uh, that blue is absolutely stunning. And I'm going to go in with the lighter blue, which is called Resplendent Quetzal, which I remember saying, so I have used this shade previously, but we're going to use this. And I'm just going to blend out the edges with that lighter blue, just to make it a little bit more smoky. Try and get rid of any harsh lines. Like I say, halo eyes and that type of shape and look are not my favourite to do, but I just wanted to be as versatile with the looks as possible and the colours just to show really what this palette is capable of and with the other two looks I'm sure you have guessed by now I am obsessed with this palette and I haven't been disappointed with anything that I've tried and I am loving these blues. I'm definitely going to deepen it up with a dark brown in the inner and outer corner and I'm excited to put a really nice shimmer down the middle but this is the sort of idea we're going for do you see my vision then we're going to go in with two-toed sloth which is a lovely deep brown shade here and i don't want this to take over i'm telling this to myself as much as i'm telling it to you like 
chill out Kerry we just want this to deepen up a tad we do not need this as a massive feature but you know I have to have depth in my look somewhere and this is just gonna give me that little bit of depth on the inner and outer corner and hopefully I'm not gonna make it too crazy and then we can go in with one of the lovely shimmers Okay, for the very centre, I think I'm going to go into River Trail, which is the nice shimmery blue. But then for the outer edges of that shimmer, I feel like I want to go into Cloud Canopy. So we'll start with River Trail first, just to go down the very centre. I'm going to spray this so I don't get fall out. Let's just put this down the middle oh i still love that shade that is stunning then i'm gonna flip my brush over and go into cloud canopy and should i spray this one too maybe and then just pop that on the edges of the blue shimmer and blend it all together And then for the inner corner, I'm going to go in with River Trail again because it's stunning. And um, mm, that is nice. Let me finish up, do the rest of my makeup, and I'll come back and show you the third and final look complete. Yeah. Here's to the good days. Here's to the sorrows. Okay, here is look number three complete and... I have to say, maybe it's my favourite out of the three. You're going to have to let me know which is your favourite. I wasn't expecting it to be this one, but I feel like it might be. Let me tell you the extra things that I use. But like I say, everything will be linked in the description box down below. In my waterline, I went in with my Beauty Bay eyeshadow stick in Dumbo Sky. And for the lip, I don't normally dig out a deep brown lip, but I was feeling it. I really like the Kaleidos Lip Clays. And this one is in the shade cold smoke and i think it goes so nicely with the blue eye i am obsessed with how this eye look has turned out and it's so sparkly it's so blue it's got depth it's giving me oceany vibes i love it so guys i hope this video hasn't been a million years long and i'm so so sorry if it was i really enjoy watching three look videos, two look videos, four look videos, seven look videos. So I just thought I want to play around with this palette. I want to get as much use out of it as possible, dive into as many shades as I can. So why not film it for you guys? I hope you enjoyed it. Let's talk about this palette. I mean, I feel like you're already going to know my thoughts. Every single shade that I used, no issues, pigmented, blendable, the shimmers are spectacular. Now, I didn't use every single shade. Which ones did I not use? I mean, I've swatched everything, so I can't really remember now. I did use the majority of the mattes. Have I used all of the mattes now? Maybe apart from this one. Um, matte quality, spectacular. This is one of my favourite matte formulas for eyeshadow. So, I don't say that lightly. The shimmers are gorgeous. It looks like there's more than one shimmer formula in here. Some are more toppery shades such as Wildlife Wonderland and River Trail, but they can be definitely built up to be opaque like the blue. That's the River Trail. Absolutely stunning. This deeper one, Cloud Canopy, feels slightly different to the others, but I just, this one, Hanging Bridges with the Duochrome, Mwah. chef's kiss, absolutely beautiful. I've got nothing negative to say about this palette. I love the theming, the packaging, the shadows. Everything I tried was amazing. I am going to keep using this. I'm going to keep creating colourful looks. And I love how many greens are in this because I love green eyeshadow. I love the place that it is based on. I just love this indie brand in general, guys. It is definitely one of my favourites. So please do check out Nomad Cosmetics. Now, I do need to pick a favourite shade out of this palette, and I need to pick a least favourite shade, which is ridiculous because I like all of them. Um, but we need to do this so that Heather can try and guess. So my favourite shade in this palette is Hanging Bridges because it is a duo chromey shimmer and it is stunning. It's like a pinky goldy green and I absolutely love it. So that is my favourite and that was difficult to decide because all of these shades are spectacular. Um, you would think my least favourite would be the dark brown because it's on the neutral side, but I really like that because it deepened up this look really, really nicely. So I don't want to take it out of this palette. 
Okay, I think we'll go with this one just because I didn't use it in any of my looks. Is that a good enough reason? And it is called Passiflora. So, I mean, it's a gorgeous shade and I can't wait to use it. But if I had to pick, had to, then it would be that one. Um, I don't think Heather's going to guess that right, to be honest. I think she's going to guess the brown for me. But yeah, it's definitely this one. And yeah, my favourite shade is definitely this one. But like I say, all absolutely gorgeous. Okay, for Heather's favourite, this is, this is difficult because I can't... I know she likes blue. I mean, she does also like green, but I feel like maybe River Trail is going to be her favourite shade and her least favourite shade is probably going to be Orchid. I mean, if I've got that right, I will be blown away. But that is my guess for Heather. If you was umming and ahhing about getting this palette, I would definitely say it is worth the price. I love it. It's fantastic quality. And I think it's my favourite Nomad Cosmetics palette that I have ever tried. And I do have a few of them now. I plan to collect more. Um, but yeah, if this price point is a little bit too high for you, you don't like to order from America, if you're in the UK, for example, and it's quite expensive shipping, then shop your stash. I mean, this is a bright, colourful palette. I'm sure you can shop your stash and dupe these shades if you pull your collection together. But if you was umming and ahhing about getting this... So guys, thank you so much for joining me for this video. I really do hope you enjoyed it. I had so much fun going on this little journey into the cloud forest for three days with this palette. I love the looks that I came up with, but like I say, I do feel like this one's my favourite. Don't forget to let me know in the comments down below which one your favourite is. And hopefully guys, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.